We wanted to do something different, something where people could come and really get away from it. We had this ideal situation down here by the, by the stream and in the wood, so we looked at, at building it there and we thought about building a, a wooden cabin, but Anthony had always had a big interest in the straw bale building, which is an American form of building, which they did sort of 300 years ago when they couldn't basically afford anything else, so they used straw. He went on a couple of courses and, and had read a lot about it, so we thought, well, why not? Because it would be, it would be different. Um, and it would also be very environmentally friendly um, because it's obviously st straw, local straw. It's got sheep's wool in the roof. So it, the idea was to have as sort of small a footprint as we possibly could. So that's really how it, how it started. We were late uh, getting it available for, for letting because of the horrendous winter we had. I mean, it was, we were months behind because it was so wet. Um, so it went really live, I suppose, mid, maybe beginning mid-July, and it's now let right through till the 7th of September. We do quite a lot of short breaks, so Monday to Thursday, Friday to, to Monday, um, as well as weeks, and that seems to be the popular market at the moment, but I'm really pleased with the way it's, it's, it's let so quickly. We went for Glass E funding, which was a farm diversification grant, because it suited our purposes, and, and there was money there to help us build it. It was a major, a major help, and they also, I also had a Glass E grant, a smaller one, for the website, which was, again, a huge, huge help. So I think any farmer um, who was looking to do something um, that, that fitted into the criteria of Glass E, I mean, I would certainly recommend it. In fact, did recommend it. I think we did a couple of talks and things on it. Um, yeah. Good scheme.